maximize on the BBE. All right, so let's dive into the processing equipment. Yeah, um, big bottom. Let me start with Apostle Paul. Big up yourself, my brother. Alesis and Ashley. Less is always best. Crown preamp by what the people rate the most. Setting your levels too. The X32, one of my auntie birthday and a couple of my cousins them the Yamaha. Yes, for real. <laughs> yeah, eh, 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 yeah. Go, oh, 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 yeah. Action sound. Yeah, eh, 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 yeah. Whoa, oh, yeah, eh, hey, whoa. Oh. Desire to get a higher life. It's a no brand on road. Desire to get a higher. Don't limit it, yeah. Go, go, go. Desire to get a higher life. It's a no brand on road. For the beat. Life is a subject, hey, not an object, hey, a full control. Welcome, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Um, hey, look, I got the same shirt on, people. Guess what? Same day. Did like two, three videos today. All right, so don't judge me on it. See, <laughs> but anyway, anyway, um, this video today is about your processing, equipment. putting everything in uh, in line, in order. I might, I might even talk about setting your levels too. Let's see how that work out. I'm trying to keep these videos short, so I don't know if I'm gonna go in depth, but um, I might talk about that a little bit as well. All right, so you guys, um, if it's your first time coming in watching this channel please do subscribe and um, hit that notification bell and then just let me know what you think you know in the comment section below all right and don't forget to share man and join the, the, the mighty action community if, if you find this very helpful and um, very interesting to you all right so let's dive into the processing equipment one thing I always say to you guys and I've said it in a couple of videos before is less is best so I have a few people who more angry shout out to. And um, let me start with Apostle Paul. Big up yourself, my brother. You understand? Um, all the reason with Jin Chin the other day and Chin said, Yeah, man. Music vibration. Why you talk, man? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me I said, you know, my brain. My, yard, my mind. My brain gone, you know. Brain gone, man. Imagine myself for 10 years from now. Probably can't remember how to feed myself to love and spirit. But anyway, that's how it go, you know. Them say once a man, twice a child, so so it go. But be up yourself, Paul. Um check out your YouTube nice. I mean get your message about the video. Don't worry yourself. I'll send a copy to you as soon as we can see. We not, not get a chance to rip it off of the, the GoPro yet, but as soon as we do, we send it to you. Matter of fact, when I edit them video here. Yeah? I'm going to rip it off. I'm going to send you a copy. See, I mean, you tell me, see, you watch my channel, so I know you watch. See, but big up yourself. People, go, go check out him channel. See, Apostle Paul. Apostle Paul. Check him out. Matter of fact, I'm going to put his name across the screen so you can see it. Go on a YouTube search field and search him out, man, and go up on his page. And subscribe to him, think to man. Um, if you're into the gospel, you're into the reggae, you know, you're into the sound thing and the engineer music thing and thing, Go check out Apostle Paul, man. You understand? Um, he's a guy who used to play music with and think back in ideas. And then we just go to a house party, go book him up, and he must say, You remember me? And I said, No. Nah. And he remind me, and I said, I remember the name, but I can't remember where from. But I talk to me, right hand, and I write and say, Yeah, man, Wally, well, yeah, for real, man. You understand? So my apologies, Paul, you know. Um, Member good now. <laughs> Member good, my brother. But anyway, um, big up yourself again here, Mr. And yo, you drop some song. I said, me out the door, I hear you yeah, drop some way anyone down there. I said, yo, I know that sound here yeah, for real. Yeah, man, so the mind works still. But big up yourself, Apostle Paul again. People, check him out. Yeah, man, I wanna we. Um, eh, Apostle, I invite you to the festival, you know. Yeah, man. Yeah, I have to do the festival for a Sunday, yeah, man. Because the whole like, seven-day Adventist them can't come. But I me, me might have to move it for Sunday or on Friday, early Friday or something like that. <laughs> oh, sister. But anyway, my brother, big up yourself. See? Yeah, man, I'm going to get your message about the video. And um, we're going to edit it with... I'm going to take it down when I edit them video, so... 
who does send you a copy then saying all right um so yeah people over the weekend um weekend of the 20 um no man the weekend of the, of the 20th mm, go over um one of the members them um house you know the member cook, cook out on a birthday to you know, show respect and to, you know me, me, but some people I'm not seeing that many, you know. Right now, you guys watching the clips them where take place that evening. We mainly off the sound, you know. These two rocks were built in this shop right here, and this man is the proud owner of them two rocks there. And me not lie, them look wonderful. And he's been watching the channel too and putting it off the back and changing out his jacks them and using the, in, the two jacks them instead of a sada sada wire and him himself love it you know what i mean so um i, I I'm, I'm i'm like a disease man <laughs> i'm infecting you addicts i'm infecting you addicts you know what i mean but anyway um yeah big up yourself paul um happy earth strong to you again you see me um, and all, it, was a, it was a good night. I mean, me and Apostle Paul dropped some, some song. You understand me? Apostle Paul. Two Paul, let me know people. One name Apostle Paul and one name Danny Paul. You know, so. Big up yourself, Danny Paul. For song. And Apostle Paul, I tell you, we dropped some song, you better. Yeah, man. Uh, Jai out. No, Jai out, man. <laughs> yeah, the man dropped some dub and, and I feel the vibes to you, man. A long time in a place, some of them dumb they were in Japan. Yeah, man, if the pastor could have seen you in power. <laughs> Yo, we'll stop here. But anyway, um, and then after that, now the next day, you know, we got some boom, 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 man. Because the whole weekend, you know, kind of like a chance for you to slow down video and you know, right now, and I wait, you know, I do this. But um, the day after that, the next day after that, you know, you know one of my auntie birthday and a couple of my cousins them um birthday and things so the family will get together and thing and the most sundry they say me go there play two domino be two juice and just chit chat with the family and 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 and, and some of the patrons them will come out to and and thing and thing you see me so it was a full weekend overall it was a full weekend you understand me searching doing juggling and thing you understand ones and twos for the whole entire evening. Hey, it's, hey China man, enough, enough guy can't play more than 30 minutes, you know. Enough guy can't play more than 30 minutes. But then the day when we are all dance from sundown till sun up, eh? And some man can't even play for 30 minutes. But anyway, you know that we are talking about, we don't reach the side yet. We don't reach none of them conversations yet. See? But anyway, um, so, Big up to like people like Mumma Action. Yes, for real. <laughs> the real Mumma Action, I mean that. All right, peace and love. If you see her out in action again, you understand? Um, you know, a couple of men never get some six love. Now nah, I call no name. I don't know myself. Boy, I'm mean, gonna you know, say so much I wanna watch the channel for real. Check see how one and two people in a sound community, but all non sound people I watch it too. I say, boy, I wanna me see you know me and watch where I where I do you know, brother. Yeah, I say, boy, for real, wanna subscribe? Be that me you subscribe, you subscribe, you subscribe. I know me ask if you no subscribe, then kill me, you know, so me have to ask to you, you see me. But anyway. <laughs> Birthday, see birthday girl here. Yeah? Wally, what you doing? Are you two here? Yeah, no, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't, I ain't a wanted man around us, so. Police order. <laughs> Good question. Good question. Yo, yo, yo. Yo, what's up, what's up? See, see you wanted one around. Right? Uh -uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Big up to everybody still, you see me, and whatever people are come to me and say, boy, them love the teachings, them love what me and do, them love, them love the, 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 the openness. Some criticize me and say me too open, some criticize me, some, some criticize and them say, yo, 
them just like the genuineness, you understand? And I'll keep it on a level there with the runner people. 100 and straight and genuine. See? But let me dive in on a video you now before we get too long. We're talking about equipments in your rack. Equipments that's in your rack. Starting from your coffin, come down to your amplifier. Equipments in your rack. See? We deal with amplifier. We deal with speakers. We deal with wirings, organizing. But they were just making plans and so forth. One of the main plans is your equipment. And this is not going to take me long for telling you this. And if you don't take, if, if this if this flyover on your head, on your head tough. If you can't understand this, I'm telling you, on your head tough. Now, I said this before and I'm going to say it again. Less is always best. I'm going to explain to you why I said that. Every piece of equipment that you have in your rack, makes noise is going to generate noise you want me to say a while ago every every piece of equipment that you have in your rack is going to generate noise so long my pause be sinking i hope it's sinking you know let me say i'll repeat it again Every equipment that you have in your rack, every single one of those equipment that you have in your rack, in your coffin, everything, they all generate noise. They all do. So, this is why I say less is best. Less is always best. All right, let's say you have build your song. I'm going with, I'll go with some scenarios when I see out there. You have your turntable then. Your coffin. In your coffin, two turntable, two turntable. Let me need it up. Cause it look too, it, it look too rugged. Yeah. Two turntable and a mixer. Now then, underneath that you have your rack. But that's we're gonna do the three rack and the two rack song. You know, we are being sad to say one rack. One rack song, right? With the one, one rack. See? So you have one rack. And in that rack, let's say you come from your mixer and you're going into another mixer. Uh, whether it be an inline mixer or it be a mixer that you put on some, some, some ears on it and make it into an inline mixer. But you have your mixer. See? Now, you have your mixer, and you go for your mixer, and let's say you go into an equalizer. 32 bar EQ. All right? Um, let's say you go from your equalizer, forget, let's say you go into a big bottom, you go into your BBE, your BBE, let's say you go into, oh, an expander, let's say you go into a, uh, a compressor. Compressor limiter gate in a one. Granted, these things are not in order, okay, people? But just a write down equipment when we see people use. Um, let's say. Alright. You're going to drive rack. I are you actually for alright, let's 
Ashley. Let's do the Ashley four way. You have the Ashley four way. See? All right. Then where you go after your Ashley? Your amplifier, right? All right. So let's say each equipment adds one. Let's say each equipment adds three decibels of noise. Three decibels of noise. All right. Remember, I said no, it, um, sound is measured in decibels. See? It? So you have three decibels of noise. Noise. Just noise. What each equipment is going to bring. Three. Me not go count. Me not go count the laptop or me not go count the CD player. Them, all right? Just, me not just be realistic. Let's go from the mixer. Three, 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 three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So let's say each equipment. Remember, I told you this now. Every equipment make noise generates noise every piece of equipment generate noise so each equipment you add to the system you're also adding noise which is why i said less is best if you can add, if you can do without it do without it less is best i've seen people who use Preamp, EQ, um, go to them crossover, then from them crossover to four different EQs for each band of the crossover. And each different frequency of the crossover have them own EQ. You understand? And I've, I've always been puzzled by that crap. Now you guys explain that to me and tell me if it makes sense. I don't know. In the comment section, tell me if that makes sense. It doesn't make sense to me. But I've seen guys done that. Yeah, so I know some of you guys looking at me like I'm crazy. But it's actually truth in what I'm telling you. And I'm going to prove it. <coughs> so... This is your audio signal. <coughs> All right. So this is your audio signal. This first signal coming in, it has music going like that. Now, Fresh signal coming in, you know. It's got noise in there right on the baseline. Now, every piece of equipment that your signal goes through, it's going to get louder. It's going to amplify. Once you start adding frequencies and adding levels to it, it's going to change. I'm now going to that differently, not, not this video. This one I'm just talking about. Um, your equipment in your rack. So here's your level going in. Let's say all of this, the level here, so let's say it's 40 dB. When it come out of this mixer, it's going to go through all the, the EQ system that's on this mixer. It's going to go through the preamp that's on this mixer. And it's going to amplify. So your signal is now gonna be bigger. Coming out of your mixer, so they say your mixer, the signal is gonna be now bigger. But the signal have noise in it too. So guess what? The noise is also gonna be bigger. But 
the noise coming in is going to also pick up other noises that's in the mixer. Come, and coming out of it now, it's going to be greater. Not only is the noise going to be amplified by how much you amplify it with the settings that's on that mixer, but it's also going to pick up other noise that's coming from the mixer and carry that noise with it too. You understand what I'm saying? So when you go down to, let's say the next equipment is a piece of EQ. Every time you adjust the levels on that EQ, you're amplifying that music. You're changing the levels that's onto that, on that song, or on, on that source, or that audio, or that audio file, whichever, whichever terms you want to use. I try to clear up my argument, you know, God, but it was some people use some butter knife and dissect. <laughs> Everything what me I say, you know, so I want to make sure so me, you understand? Uh, now I try to step on my own toe here, you understand? So I want to keep my mind open that these numbers that I'm using is just guesstimation. So, the audio coming out of the mixer is probably going to be about 60 dB. The noise going into the mixer, let's say the noise is only. 3 dB. But coming out of the mixer, that noise is going to amplify to about 6, 6 dB. And then if you count the ratio, 20% that went on to the volume, it might even be 8 dB. Because 6 dB because the volume increased, but another 2 dB because it also pick up some extra noises coming out, more noise coming out. When it goes into the EQ, guess what? The same thing it did here, it's gonna do down here. So the signal is gonna get bigger and the noise level is gonna get bigger. So right, Let's say then so now it changed to 80 dB. And the noise increase as well. Another 3 dB. So 8 and 3, 11. But then again, the EQ itself has noise in it. So let's call it 12. Let's call it 13. So now your noise is at 13 dB. When you go to your crossover, Guess what? The signal gets even bigger. The signal gets even bigger at your crossover. But not only the signal. The noise also gets bigger. So let's say, say a crossover. <laughs> That's your crossover. So, say a crossover. Uh, when you come out of a crossover, let's say it's at 100 dB. That's your audio is at 100. Your noise is probably going to be at 18. Yeah, but hear some sound at a, a fry. Some louder than some, you wonder where or why. White noise, and the more the more equipment it goes through, more noise it have a pickup. Get louder and louder and louder. So even when your sound, none of the music I go through, it's like you know. More equipment you have, the louder that I get. Other noises too, even humming, you know, certain distortion. You know, the more equipment you go through with it, is the load that it's gonna get. That's why them say, less is always best. So, once you understand this, now we're going at this noise level and your audio level further in your next video, you know, after that one, yeah. This is when we actually 
turn on the sound and we start work with the gains and structure structure in our gain input gains and our output gains all right so now we'll go in depth this so this is when we actually start to you know physically go through and set our input and output gains and getting our levels them correct there's a lot of misinformation out there i've heard a lot you know me myself we just sit down and put two and two together listen to this listen to that read up on this read up on that and come to my own conclusion i'm not just a share with one when me come with saying um oh yeah that's basically it every piece of equipment that you have has noise in it can't get around that and the more equipment you put is the more noise you're gonna have seen um so when you have plan your sound out plan out your equipment how much equipment you'll get why what you're gonna put in your rack and what you're not gonna put in your rack um i'm not a fan of the all-in-one systems i said it painfully when we talked about the four channel um, amplifiers then i'm not a fan of the drive rack I'm not a fan of these um, digital mixers yet still i have drive rack i have a digital mixer you know uh, you have to go with the time sometime but um let's talk about these equipment so let's talk about these equipment let's say the signal i come from your control mixer and it goes to your the brain of your sound, which is your your inline mixer. Alright. From the brain of your sound, it goes to um your equal EQ. And from your EQ, you go to your crossover, or in modern times, your drive rack. And then from your crossover to your amps. Simple setup, very simple setup. Now, in between here, in between there, people add a lot of things. Take for instance, in between your main mix and the EQ, you might put a compressor. You might put a compressor. You might put a gate and limiter. You know what? I'm going to go so far because some compressors have gates and limiter built in. Right? So let's say you have all in one unit, unit. But in between your EQ and your, and your mixer, you put a sonic maximizer, which is the BBP. You might put um, an expander. What else would a person put between them mixer? Between them near mixer and them EQ. Okay, between the EQ and the crossover. Um, what are some of the things I've seen people use? A home eliminator. So some people might put even a, a feedback eliminator too. I can't think of it all come to me, but not right now. But we can't think of anything else when we see people throwing on them rap more time. Remember when we tell you earlier now, every piece of equipment you put near rock add nice to your rock, you know? So 
Simple, straight to the point. And everything is extra. I'll show you how extra it is. Here you are, you have a sound system. You put a compressor on it to compress the sound. What compressor does, it holds the sound. Bam. So when it's an overdrive, at a certain point, it grabs it and says, no, where you go? Come here. That's what a compressor does. It, it holds back certain, certain signals at a certain frequency. People, the same person will go around and get themselves a 3BX expander. And an expander now, come on, the meaning is in the name. Compressor, it compresses, it holds back, it holds down. Expander, expands it, it lets it out. You have a compressor, and, a, and then now you have an expander. Why? Mm, now nah, contradict one, now nah, contradict the other one. Hmm? Eh? Don't make no sense to me. That don't make no sense to me. And if we go with modern technology and get a drive rack. Drive rack have a limiter and compressor and, and, and a gate all in one in it. The drive rack even have an EQ in it too. I used to have an EQ for my son and, and one of me have used to have a loud home in it. So I just get rid of it. So I don't have it no more. Simple. Simplicity. Simple it is. More simple it is. Is what? Less is best. So if you have a drive rack, drive rack have a EQ, have a crossroad, have a compressor, have a limiter, have a gate. You can put EQ, you can put all of that on the input. You can put all of that on the output. You know? Whereas if you have a digital, Mixer, if your mixer is digital and all of that, they need a mixer too. The X32 have all of them things there and, and more. Matter of fact, you wouldn't even need none of this. Not even them, yeah. Because the X32 have all of that built in it too. Contradiction, contradicting what we say a couple of videos ago about all in one, but I mean, I'm just going over the equipments what you need from what you don't need. Um, most of them, it's not necessary. You know, it's like you, you take a step forward and back at the same time. You're gonna be in the same spot. Now I'm moving out of the way. But, um, yeah. When you, when you build your sound, plan it out. What you want to put in here and what you don't want to put in here. Here's another thing you must look at too. Let me put back EQ right or so. Here's another thing you want to look at as well. Each equipment has different type of inputs and outputs. Um, XLRs, RCA, quarter inch or three main ones you're going to see a lot. And the standard or the quality is in this, is in this order. RCA, quarter inch, XLR. Every pro equipment that you find and see is going to be, is going to have an XLR or a quarter inch. Mostly you're going to see XLR. It's the more, it's the more cleaner connection. It's the better connection of the three. So all pro equipments is going to come XLR. Then you might see one and two with XLR or quarter inch built in together or you might see just quarter inch tapering sleeve. The least of the three is RCA. RCA is more now of lower grade equipments. You see that in a lot of car audio, home audio. But pro audio up on the street, you, you know, nobody is know you, you, you're not, you're not really ever find that. When you see equipment with RCA, that means that on the pro level. Keep that in mind. Because the inputs also 
make a difference, you know. The XLR is gonna be a lot cleaner signal than the other two. So keep that in mind. So when you lay out your rack, also take note of what the input and the outputs are. I know with the mixers, nowadays mixer has both XLR and RCA. Like for me, for my mixer, I use the XLR. So my main and my RCA are the boot out when you use the bass. Most of you guys who have the boot, use the boot out for your bass, that's what you use RCA. Now for me, I convert my RCA to XLR in the coffin. And then the rest of the way, it's all, it's all XLRs. So map out which equipment use what from which, which is what. And remember, when you're going from an XLR to an RCA, which is the most common tool you're gonna see with to each other. So the RCA, you're gonna, you're gonna lose quality in that cable too. So you're gonna have an adapter that's gonna take a three pin cable and turn it into a two pin cable. <laughs> you're gonna lose something there too, all right? So these are the things we have to bear in mind when you put your, 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 your equipment in line. All right, so keeping it simple in your mixer, whether it be a controller, whether it be a turntable with a mixer on, on, in your coffin, your, your main mixer, which is your inline mixer, which is in your rack, whether it be the Yamaha, the, the X32, um, say Yamaha already. Yeah, whether it be the Yamaha or the X32, whether you have a Mackie board or you have a, if you have a Alesis board or a Behringer board or whatever you have, whether it be a mixer that you put some ears on it, doesn't matter what, that's your main input. That is where your microphone, your line in, Your effects, if you have any, like reverb, delay, whatever the case may be. Um, extra lining for like lick shot or um, sampler you're coming in here too. Um, any and everything that you're adding to the song as an input, maybe a, maybe a stage mic, a band, drums, whatever. It's, all, it's all, all gonna come into your main mixer. It's not gonna go in this one. This one I just really, you play music author. You might put a mic up here, but that's pretty much the, uh, the most you will go. Down here says where everything will go. You understand? So that would be your main, your main mixer. Then your main mixer, some people, back in the days we used to use preamp. Well, somehow we still do. You know, crown, crown preamp are what the people rate the most. You see a lot of people use it for NBS. Um, some people use it for them top as well. PVR one as well, nice one. So. But you, if you notice now, a lot of people in the back of their rack, you see they have like a eight channel mixer, a 12 channel mixer in the back of their rack. Um, Alesis and Ashley, they made a rack mounted. Um, what them call them, studio, studio 12, 12 hours. Yeah, them the uh, 12 channel mixers. Uh, I think the Ashley is actually 10 channel, but the um, Alesis is 12 channel. Then they go in line. All right, that, them, 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 uh, uh, them they fade out now. And the X32, the Behringer X32, and the Yamaha, and you know, them they take over now, the digital one. You know. Literally come into a three or a four space um, unit where uh, mount into your rack, you know, and pretty much acts as your main mixer. That's take over for your preamp. You understand? Yeah. So that becomes your preamp. Now from there, you would normally equalize it, equalize your signal. Um, sonic maximizer, the BBE. The the um the um big bottom the AFX um two or four I think it is don't so quote me on the number yeah no car yeah that 
But I know Big Bottom they come up with a 104 or the 102. And the FX, big, the new one is the FX 204, I think that's 204. You guys come in and let me know. Those are just equalizers. They don't have a broad bandwidth as a 32 band or 15 band might have. But um, but that's a, pretty much what they want, that what they are, just um, equalization, you know? Um, so some people add those to refine certain things, you know? Um, then you go to your drive rack or your four-way crossover if you're somewhat analog. Yeah, you go to your Ashley four-way. Uh, five way, I think it's four way, yes. Actually, five, four way stereo, five way mono. Right, so you go to your Ashley. Um, so let me share the camera. So you go to your Ashley um, or your drive rack. And then from there to your amplifier, where you amplify that signal. But we're going to talk about gain structure in the next video. See, I'm going to leave you with this and think about this until the next video. If you start if your initial signal is noisy then Your end result is just gonna be amplified noise. It doesn't matter what you put in the middle to clean it up, it's going to be noisy. Next video, let's start with a clean signal. Let's set our levels properly. Start with a clean signal and work our way down to the amplifier where we are projecting clean signal to the public. All right, folks, um, thank you guys for watching this video right here. Um, I hope it was helpful in some way, shape, or form. And I know I'm not trying to divulge everything once, I'm trying to just give you a little bit of that time. You know, if I was to sit here and give you everything, that would be a very long, long video. See, and so, thank you guys for, um, yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope I was this video was informal. I hope this video um, helped in some way, shape, or form. And like I said, comment down below and let me know what you think, how you feel about it. And um, let's talk. I've, I, I've always made it a point of duty of mine to um, reply to every comment that I can. If I haven't replied to your comment as yet, maybe it missed me. Because um, I don't, I, I don't go through the comments as often as I do. I should, but I try to. Um, so if I miss your comment, some way, shape, or form, I'll, I'll get to it. I try to reply to each comment. You know, the ones I don't understand. Sometimes I leave it alone. Sometimes I say, Yo, I just don't understand this. Okay. But it doesn't matter to me, hey, yo, you can beat me like, like a slave in you know, the comment section. It no matter to me, my skin thick, you can take it. See? So, until next time, I'll see you guys on the flip side. Yeah, eh, 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 yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. Action sound. Yeah, eh, 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 yeah. Whoa, oh, yeah, eh, hey, whoa, oh. Desire to get a higher life, it's a no brand on road. Desire to get a higher, don't limit it, your go go go. Desire to get a higher life, it's a no brand on road. Believe me, life is a subject, ain't not an object, take a full control.